Here's some of the stories trending this week at NASA. On December 11th, aboard the International Space Station, NASA's Chell Lindgren, Russian cosmonaut Oleg Kononenko, and Kamiya Yui of the Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency bid farewell to crew members remaining on the station, including Commander Scott Kelly, NASA's one-year mission astronaut. The returning members of Expedition 45 then climbed aboard their Soyuz spacecraft for the trip back to Earth. They safely touched down hours later in Kazakhstan, closing out a 141-day stay in space. Meanwhile, preparations continue at the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan for the launch of the next three additions to the space station crew, including NASA astronaut Tim Kopra. He's participating in pre-launch training with Expedition 4647 Soyuz Commander Yuri Malenchenko of the Russian Federal Space Agency and Flight Engineer Tim Peake of the European Space Agency. Launch of their Soyuz to the station from Kazakhstan is scheduled for December 15th. Orbital ATK's enhanced Cygnus cargo craft arrived at the space station on December 9th, three days after launching on a United Launch Alliance Atlas V rocket from Florida. This is the first flight of the enhanced Cygnus with its greater payload capacity. The 7,000 plus pounds of cargo delivered by Cygnus includes science and research, crew supplies, and vehicle hardware in support of the approximately 250 science and research investigations that will occur during the expedition's 45 and 46 missions. On December 8th, members of the media toured the Quantum Artificial Intelligence Laboratory, or QUAIL, at NASA's Ames Research Center. The Quantum Artificial Intelligence Laboratory is the agency's hub for an experiment to assess the potential of quantum computers to perform calculations that are difficult or impossible using conventional supercomputers. The QUAIL team hopes to demonstrate quantum computing and algorithms that may someday dramatically improve NASA's ability to solve difficult optimization problems for missions in aeronautics, earth science, and space exploration. NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory hosted the annual Invention Challenge recently in Pasadena, California. Middle and high school teams demonstrated unique devices they built to compete in this year's challenge, the Ball Fling Contest. The goal of the challenge was to hit three different targets with playground balls in less than 60 seconds. 21 student teams and three teams of JPL engineers and scientists were invited to compete. The competition promotes creativity, strategic thinking, and improvement of science, technology, engineering, and math or STEM skills. And that's what's up this week at NASA. For more on these and other stories, follow us on social media and visit www.nasa.gov twan.